Hey, hey, welcome back. So we've already gone through the how to set up your Google Cloud, and I want to expand on that a little bit to explain how to set up your project inside VS Code. And to do that, we're going to start back in our BigQuery section of Google Cloud. I just wanted to remind you that our project is called GSC-Pipeline-297816. It's going to be meaningful to you in a minute why I'm mentioning this. The data set that all of our data lives inside is called GSC. And then each of our clients is going to have its own table inside there. And we have a skeleton table that we can duplicate to expand how many tables we have for all of our, our sub-clients. We're going to swing over into VS Code now so that you can get a sense of how it all kind of ties together. We're actually going to look at four different things for each of the different cloud functions. We're going to look at the .env file. We're going to look at the clients.json file. We're going to look at the creds.json file. And we're also going to look at the package.json file because those are the things that you're going to need to edit to match your own cloud setup. Okay, so this is our .env file, and this exists in both of our cloud functions. And so you can basically duplicate the .env file from function number one and paste it into function number two. Uh, you'll notice that I'm pointing to my creds.json file. That's where my service account credentials live. And you'll also see that this is called GSG, and it should have been C. That's actually a typo, uh, which is GSG uh, cloud function. Um, and we're pointing it at our actual cloud, cloud function. Uh, you'll notice the structure of it is it shows the cloud project location, which is US Central 1, the name of the project, which is GSC Pipeline 297816, which again is pointing at this particular project over here with this data set, which is GSC. And then it lives inside the cloud functions.net, and race GSC is going to be the name of our the name of our Google Search Console cloud function. Uh, getting ready to build our Google My Business cloud function, this would be the structure that I would employ for that. You can then add as many different cloud functions as you want for each of your individual marketing channels down the road. Uh, you also have to point it to your specific service account. You have to define what your project is named what your cloud task queue will be named, your cloud location. You have to point it to your credentials files and your clients file. And then let's look at our clients.json just so you can have a, just to remind you how it's going to interact with BigQuery. Remember, when we look in BigQuery, I'm making a table for each of the different clients domain 1 and domain 2 in this example. And then you'll notice that for domain 1, we're pointing them to the table, which will be called domain 1. Same thing for domain 2. And this is just how I structured it. And you'll notice that there's two different credentials file, excuse me, two different clients.json file. One that lives inside our search console uh, cloud function, and one inside this daily pipeline serverless function. And these two files are a little bit different. Uh, and I'll explain. For the search console cloud function, we're just, I, we're just mapping the website domain to the BigQuery table. The clients.json file inside the daily pipeline serverless cloud function is set up differently. This shows our two domains, and you'll notice I made a little bit of a typo here, where this is domain one in this clients.json. 
this should also be clients one um, just so that they're the same so um, and here I'm saying what my channels are that we're gonna be pushing to every day so this only has search console to start but down the road we could easily add on to that and we could add you know GMB or whatever else whatever other channel we want to set up and then our credentials.json file has those service account credentials that we downloaded earlier when we were building our cloud setup. The next thing we're going to look at is the package.json files for both of our two, our two cloud functions. And this is pretty cool because there's some details in here which will show you how to actually deploy the cloud function from our individual computer up to Google. And you'll notice that this is a package.json for our, um, our search console cloud function. You'll see that it has a target, which is race GSC, and that points to our index.js file. Notice here this says that the main script for this cloud function is index.js. So if we go to index.js and we look for we look for our parent um, function, that's this one right here, the exports.racegsc. The package is saying that that's, that's where data goes in when people um, post or do a get to the cloud function. And then this next line uh, is pretty cool. Well, both of these lines are pretty cool. Basically, the start line allows you to run your cloud function locally using the cloud functions framework. And this next line is really neat because what it does is it, it enables you to do a git add and a git commit. And it allows you to deploy your cloud function uh, all in one in one fell swoop. If I was to type in npm run deploy, what it'll do is it'll run, it'll basically uh, pretend that I typed in all of this code and it'll deploy my cloud function up, up to Google Cloud. Um, getting set up with Google Cloud is um, is pretty easy and the steps for that are typing in npm install I'm, I'm hoping here that it's G Cloud which is for Google Cloud and it'll take a minute to be able to find all this stuff and it will install everything for you while it errored for me. I think it's going to work just fine for you. It's just because I have it installed already. So once once you do have it installed, you need to log into Google Cloud from VS Code. And the way that you do that is you do... So after we install Google Cloud, we then need to log in. And it's really simple. It's just G Cloud auth login. When you hit enter, it's going to ask how you want to do it, or it'll throw us into this into this login screen. And for me, I'm going to use my work email. It's going to ask me if it's okay. Of course, I want to be able to do all this stuff. And then after, I think it'll send us, yay, we're authenticated. Very exciting. We go back to VS Code. Notice it says that I'm set up into a specific project um, and it's saying you can change this setting by running G Cloud config set project project ID. And so we actually need to switch over to our, our project. If this is the first project you've ever built, um, my sense is that it'll already be logged into that project, but for me I'm not. So I need to use my project ID, which I can get from my credentials file. I just go up here and I find my GSC pipeline uh, 29 blah, 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 blah. 
and I'm going to paste it right there. And I just want to make sure that, there we go, enter. And then it'll tell me that I'm now set to that project. And what that means is that when I go to deploy my script, I could be in this script right here and I could say um, npm run deploy. What will happen is it will push my cloud function up to Google. And it's building all my node modules and it's creating everything up in the cloud in one fell swoop. And at the same time, what we'll do is we'll switch back over to our cloud project implementation. We've already turned on the cloud functions API. And so here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to cloud functions. And we're hoping that we're going to see something get built, which is right there. You can see that it's building right now. And then I'll switch back over to VS Code. And it'll take roughly two minutes to build. And then every time that I want to update my function, I just hit NPM. And when I say update, I mean update up in the cloud. I would run that NPM run deploy again. And that would be for both of our functions, both, both the daily pipeline serverless function and also our race GSC function, which is the function that gets our daily data from Search Console. Again, this is going to take about two minutes. So I'm going to pause it while it finishes deploying. OK, sweet. Check it out. Version ID 1. I've just pushed my initial cloud function up. And if I switch over, we'll see a big fat green check mark. That means that it's ready to go, it's ready to receive traffic, it's ready to do stuff. So next we go back to VS Code. Notice I'm up inside this function called race GSC. For me to switch um, what's called the terminal, which allows us to interact with our cloud project, from this folder over to my pipeline service serverless one I go CD space dot dot forward slash and I go daily pipeline serverless enter I'm now inside this folder now that I'm in this folder I can do that same move that I just showed you, which is npm run deploy. And just to remind you, that's the reason I'm typing that in is that I've pre-programmed a line of code that when I type in npm, which stands for node package manager, run deploy, what it's doing is it's basically typing in, it's pretending that it's typing in all of this code. So deploy is, is just a shortcut for all of this stuff. So I'll hit npn run deploy. And if I switch back here and I hit refresh, I should see my second cloud function starting to get deployed. And it'll take a second, so we might need to refresh it again. And then again, in two minutes, it'll be ready to go, and it'll be ready to start receiving traffic. And then the way to turn it into a daily pipeline is to integrate Cloud Scheduler. And the way that we do that is we go, we hit this, and we go over to Cloud Scheduler. And what we're going to do is create what's called a job. And this, wow. So we want to use the US Central because it's in the same location as our project. We hit Next. Okay, so after about a minute, we get to see this screen, and we're going to call it our daily pipeline. You can give it a description. Um, I like to, so the way to set this up is I would set it up to run at um, 
it goes minutes and then hours. So I would go 0, 02 space 0 space dot space stop. Okay, cool. So that would allow us to run every night at midnight or 12.02 a.m. I'm setting my time zone as Mountain Standard Time, which I think is minus 6 or minus 7, or United, United States, and then I'm going to be not minus 6 or 7, I forget. Yeah, minus 7. And then this is what's really cool is you pick your target. And just to remind you, you can have it go to any HTTP, including off outside of Google Cloud. You can have it tr uh, target PubSub or an App Engine HTTP. So we go HTTP, and then you would give it the location of your cloud function. So for us, we know that we just built one, right? So we want to use this cloud function, which is the daily pipeline one. And the reason for that is that this is the cloud function that starts the entire flow. So we switch over here. And we're going to do a method of post. And we're going to leave the body empty. And the reason for that is that um, when we built this code, we built it so that you could send an empty post body. And if we send an empty post body, what it's telling the script to do is to check um, our clients.json file. And what it's doing there is it's checking the clients.json file and it's looping through all of the clients and it's looping through all of the channels. And it's going to create one task per client, per channel, per day. And it'll fill in the pipeline downstream according to that. We then click, oh, we can see if there's anything else. If you need to send an auth header, you can. Click Create. And now, every night, right after midnight, my daily pipeline is going to run. And uh, that's all there is. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a super fun process to make these videos, and I hope you find them to be super useful.